Okay, quiz question for you. Which metal has gone from US $2,000 a month ago per tonne to $10,000 per tonne US in one month? An increase of five times, 500%. I'll give you a hint. It's used to alloy with aluminium to make it stronger. It's a lightweight metal, and so it's very good for car parts, and it's very good to machine. It's, in fact, this frame of this little music machine is made from this particular metal. Well, you can't hear that. Let's put it on a resonating surface. Brings us beautiful music. It's used in mags. Of course, you know what it is. It's every student's favorite metal. Comes in ribbons and it's lightweight, it's shiny, it's malleable, that means you can hammer it into sheets. It's um, ductile, you can draw it into wires, it's a good conductor of heat, it's a good conductor of electricity, and it's very flammable. So that's why every student loves magnesium. They love burning magnesium. So let's just show you some magnesium burning. And are we ready? Here we go. Oi, look at that. Used in photography flashes, pyrotechnics, fireworks, a wonderful substance. But why has it gone up 500%? Is there a shortage of like the actual magnesium atoms on the planet? No. In fact, magnesium atoms are the eighth most abundant atoms on the planet. The reason that the price has gone up is because China, which produces 87% of the world's supply of magnesium, has stopped exporting it to other countries. And so the UK, which relies on China for 95% of its magnesium, is now found thousands of businesses and millions of jobs are under threat because of the shortage of magnesium. Now, why is China stopping the export? The hint is, the hint is when we burn it. The hint is when we burn it. You see, when you find magnesium, you don't like dig up the magnesium. You dig up like magnesium carbonate or magnesium oxide. You dig up the compounds of the magnesium. And you have to actually turn that back into, we have to turn that into magnesium. And to do that, you've got to put in a lot of energy. In fact, to show you how much energy you have to put in, well, basically the amount of energy you get out when you burn it is the same amount of energy that you have to put in. So to make this little bit of magnesium ribbon, I have had to put, well, someone's had to put in huge amounts of energy to actually, now you can use electricity, you can use thermal energy, but basically China was using Australian coal to do it. Now, Australia, uh, well, China doesn't buy Australia coal anymore, and so there is a shortage of coal in China, and so there's a shortage of energy, and so China has stopped the production of some of these very energy uh, intensive um, processes. So now you know why magnesium ribbon has gone up five times. All right, there you go, science.